Hello, fellow pet lovers. How in the world are you? Today we're going to talk about raising puppies. Hello, folks. It's me, Dr. B. Last week we left Mesmerize and her puppies with the puppies gaining some weight, um, still being bottle fed, supplemental fed, strong enough now that they no longer needed to be tube fed, but mother has no milk uh, related to her underlying illness and the uh, crisis that she went through. But Mesmerize had started vomiting and that was a, a big concern uh, for us. As you recall, Mesmerize has been recovering from a, a difficult uh, pregnancy and delivery. Um, it was complicated by a uterine torsion, a uh, preemptive cesarean section, toxic shock. She developed a critical anemia secondary to um, the toxins um, created an immunologic condition where her own body was destroying red blood cells. Uh, she became critically anemic. Normal um, pack cell volume, which is a measure of anemia, should be above about 35. She dropped down to 15. But last week's tests uh, showed her recovering. Uh, she was um, up to like almost twice where she was, high 20s. Um, and we were very, very happy with her progress. But with the vomiting, one has to consider complications uh, from the surgery, the illness, or everything else. So a battery of tests, including x-rays and ultrasound and blood work, showed there was no reason for the vomiting. There was no complications from her, her surgery and healing but that her red blood cell count had plateaued off and was not rising anymore. It stayed at the same low 28 level. So why was she vomiting, you ask? Well, the video clip that you've been watching has a clue to why she was vomiting. Watch this segment again. Can you guess or see what's going on here? These puppies are two weeks old. They know the difference between breastfeeding and milk and playing with their mother, particularly up around her head and her face. These puppies, in the process of licking mother's head and face and lips, will stimulate or trigger instinctive primal behaviors metabolic pathways in the canine carnivore body that will trigger regurgitation. The regurgitation process is designed to create food for puppies as they need to um, transition from milk to solid food. So this was a, a natural regurgitation that um, not vomiting, matter of semantics, it's pretty much the same thing, but undigested food, pre-digested food, partially digested food will be regurgitated uh, by the bitch for the puppies to eat and consume. The canine hot lunch program. So what's next? What could possibly go wrong next? Well, hopefully nothing. Um, mother and puppies suggest that weaning is around the corner and so the introduction of solid food from bottle feeding is going to have to take place. But my biggest concern is that uh, from one week to the next, her rapid recovery with her red blood cell count and her anemia is just plateaued off and that indicates that she's not responding as well to the medication and that drugs will need to be adjusted and we're going to make progress that way. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, it's me, Dr. B, signing off. So that's all for today. It's me, Dr. B, signing off. If you've enjoyed today's video, please like it and share it with your friends. And subscribe so we can stay in touch. Have a great puppy day.